I have no idea how to tell this story. I don't even know how to start it. This is the story of my senior year of high school and how it destroyed my life. Your father and I want to talk to you about something sad. Rachel Kushner has been diagnosed with leukemia. That sucks. It sucks. It sucks quite a bit. You might be someone who could make Rachel feel better. I don't need your stupid pity. I'm not here because I pity you. I'm actually here because my mom is making me. <laughs> it's actually worse. Everyone was going to find out sooner or later. One thing you can do if you don't want to talk to anyone is just enter a subhuman state. Pretend you're someone annoying. Oh, hi, Rachel. I'm really sorry you have cancer. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if this was a touching romantic story, our eyes would meet and suddenly we would be furiously making out with the fire of a thousand suns. But this isn't a touching romantic story. Anyway. Yep. Who is this little friend? Earl's just my coworker. I've known him since kindergarten. What you got, cat? Wanna fight? Then think so, punk ass cat. See so you and Greg are co workers? Nah, we friends. Dude's terrified of calling somebody his friend. Lou's got issues. But how are you co workers? We make films. Movies? They're terrible. Greg, you never told me. The idea behind each one was we took a film that we liked and we made the title stupider and then made a new film to reflect the new title. Oh. It's a formula that only produces horrible films, but for some reason we keep using it. You need to make a film for Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I don't really know you, but I believe in you. I know you're Jewish, but God has a plan for you. Out of all the people in the school, I don't hate you. Damn. You guys were making a movie for me. We tried a bunch of stuff and it's not that good. Now is not the time for your, I'm Greg, I suck, nothing I do is any good thing. We agreed to do a film that we have no idea what it should look like or even be. What was I thinking? I'm so tired of you treating this girl like she a burden. Because somebody actually cares about you, her life is over after this. Life can keep unfolding itself to you just as long as you pay attention to it. It was the best of times. <sighs> Worst of times. It's so much harder than I thought it would. It was life. Zeker? Je hebt leukemie. Leukemie. Je kunt het beter stomme mee noemen. De meeste kinderen die genezen gewoon van leukemie. Akki moet wel een tijdje in het ziekenhuis blijven, jongens. Hoe moet het dan met haar CITO en schoolkam, slottoernooi? Nee, hey, wij gaan de moed niet opgeven. Wat denk je? Zonder Akki zijn we niks. Ga <laughs> Gave bowlingbal! <laughs> Eigenlijk mist je net een voetbalveld. Je hebt een doel, je hebt een scheid. Maar het allerbelangrijkste zijn de spelers. Ze in de aanval. En je bent en blijft mijn beste vriendin. Mijn hele leven. I've seen you around since we moved here. I'm meant to introduce myself. I've just taken drugs. Excellent. Have you met my mum? Hi. I know you're looking. I'm not looking. Liar. And now, a very brave young lady indeed, Tessa Scott. So what's your angle going to be? Is it the whole dying girl thing, or do you have something original planned? 
Tessa. So you chose to give up the treatment. That's a big decision for a 17-year-old. How much longer do I have? I would encourage you to do the things you want to do. I've got a list. Would you like to go on a date with me? Like a proper one. Excellent. Long cross-country hike. It's worth it, yeah? Yes. He's a hot butter biscuit, that one. What are you doing? As much as I can, as fast as I can. What do you really want? I want you to be with me in the dark. To hold me when I get scared. No, and no. Dad. Forget it. What's the worst that can happen? It'll hurt. It already hurts. <sighs> do you Good night, Ben. Oh, wait. What are you doing? I'm psyching myself up. Moments. Our life is a series of moments. Oh. Each one a journey to the end. I love her. Let them go. What are your hopes? Your dreams? This right here, right now, is definitely a moment. has always spoken his mind. If I fund the needs of the disabled, I'm disabled and I need a drink. And tried to live life on his own terms. Finished. But this free spirit is about to meet someone who's never taken a chance. Don't you want to be like everyone else? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. I have to get over here. I'm going to die. Now, all they need... Goodbye, Rory. If I've said or done anything to offend you, then good. Is their own home. There's a bit of a problem. Can you guess what it is? It's a shame you would have loved the view. Their own friends. <laughs> and someone with the right qualifications. I've never done anything like this before. You've got the best qualifications we've seen. Really? To make their new life their own. company that brought you about a boy, Bridget Jones's Diary and Billy Elliot, comes an extraordinary story about learning to trust. I don't want anyone's help. That everything you want. If you want to be equal, then you have to show people the same respect that you demand of them. Why does everything always have to be a fight with you? It's closer than you think. Are you going to shut up or am I going to have to make you? I'd like to see you try. Georgia Bird spent her life. One was Bird. Mr. Williams. Dreaming of possibilities. I suggest you get with the program, Miss Bird. Yeah. You're just scared of some man getting a hold of that booty of yours. <laughs> Until the day. I was wondering sometime if you're free. I'll get it. Oh, fate. This can't be right. Changed everything. I got three weeks to live? I feel great. I just finished a fat flush. Remember you said life was too short to live the way I do? You see, Mr. Damien. Excuse would you mind? Yeah. I quit. I'm sure a disciplined woman such as yourself has a very useful purpose for this money. I'm just gonna blow it. <laughs> Welcome to Grand Hotel Poop. You don't really say it like that? Poop. 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 I know that you will find our presidential suite most comfortable. Did I just give you a ridiculously large tip? Yes. Bye. Uh, are you all right, Madam Bill? Yeah. I just love these sheets. I was just taking them for a little ride around the block. Yeah. Make me international. I haven't seen Georgia around for a couple of days. Have you seen her? Give my money. <laughs> Hello, sister. Who the hell is she? Mademoiselle Bird. 
very rich. Ooh, look at that. Will he have the same specials tomorrow night? No. I guess I better try them all tonight then. Toot. Oh, no, 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 no. Toot, baby. Toot sweet. From Paramount Pictures. Ooh, I've been waiting my whole life to do something like this. You're invited. <laughs> Slow down! On a holiday. I got a gut feeling about that woman. She's trouble. <laughs> Fit for a queen. I'm going base jumping tomorrow, Bob. Georgia! Joe, what are you doing here? Queen Latifah. Next time, we will laugh more, we we'll love more, we just won't be so afraid. Last holiday. Wait, I gotta use the bathroom. Most babies are accidents. Not me. I was engineered. Born to save my sister's life. Having a child who is sick is a full-time occupation. Sure, we still enjoy the usual day-to-day -day happinesses of family life. Big house, great kids. You want to see a routine? Uh, what routine? Hey, baby, what's your son? Cancer. You're a cancer? No, I'm a Leo, but, but I have cancer. cancer. But beneath the exterior, there are cracks, resentments, that threaten the very foundation of our lives. Oh my gosh, it's really you. I'm Campbell Alexander. What can I do for you? You've seen my commercials. That's why I'm here. My sister has been in renal failure for months now. You're supposed to give her a kidney? I want to see my parents for the rights to my own body. Would you repeat that, please? What's going on? Anna, you're suing us? I don't want to do it anymore, Mom. It's my body. I want to be able to make my own decisions about what to do with it. From the moment we decided to genetically conceive, I suppose it was our fault. But it's against her will, so how does that work? We went against nature, but we forced her into helping her sister. And Taylor, maybe we could hang together sometime. Yeah. I don't mind my disease killing me, but it's killing my family, too. What is she doing out of the hospital? We're going to the beach. You take her to the beach, you're killing you her. Like She's going to die. Better, you better come, because if you don't, I want a divorce. But somehow, Ryan! the very things that tore us apart. Anna doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't believe you. You are hiding something, Anna. Just tell him. Would bring us together in ways we could have never imagined. Life is beautiful. I look pretty, Daddy. Die. I can't. You know it's important for you to feel like you never gave up. Sooner or later, you gotta let go. I know I'll be okay. I'm sorry I let them hurt you. You know how brave you are. This March. You're the kind of guy that ignores the rules because it makes you feel in control, right? You're not wrong. You think that's cute? Do you think it's cute? Six feet apart at all times. You both know the rules. Nothing's gonna save our lives, Stella. I refuse to believe that. We're gonna do our treatments together. I'm always looking for ways to spend more time with me. Don't tell me the one time you're interested in some guy, he's also got CF. I like seeing you like this. Like what? Hopeful. I will fight. Why didn't I pack anything nice? I will fight for you. Oh, because you always pack for a hot hospital romance. God, you're beautiful. I'm brave. I wish I could touch you. Stay away. Six feet at all times. I got it. Catch this infection and you can kiss new lungs goodbye. All I want is to be with you. After all that CF has stolen from me, I don't mind stealing one foot back. Five feet apart. Are you in? So in. Five feet apart. Ready PG-13. Get up, get up, get up. Woo!
You do your best to raise the children. Anna, you forgot to wash my shirt. I told you a hundred times, today is purple shirt day at school. You do your best to care for them. Come on, Ben! Oh, but no matter how much you love them, Come on, ben, please. you'll never measure up Mommy! to their mother. Mm, I think I can handle it from here, Isabel. This holiday season... But you remember your lunch? Ah. TriStar Pictures presents... Three short years since our divorce, Luke has seen a number of women. For the past year, I've now, seen one woman after a lot of thought, careful kids, to dis He's living with a woman half his age. Isabel's not half my age. Julia Roberts. Your kids keep on hating me. Oh, come on, don't say that. They don't hate you. Wow. Anna, what do you think? Well, it kind of smells like you, and I'm allergic to you, too. Academy Award winner, Susan Sarandon. I think Isabel's pretty. Yeah. She like big teeth. <laughs> Ed Harris. You think it's easy for Jackie to watch her kids being looked after? <laughs> A woman who's no experience being a mother? You want to take a 12-year-old girl to a Pearl Jam concert on a school night? Just thought it would be something nice that she and I could do together. It's ridiculous. Of course Jackie's going to be hostile, irrational. Pearl Jam? Yeah. On a school night? Mm -hmm. We are going out. Oh, Mom! Is my mom the coolest? Mommy? What, sweetie? If she want me to hate her, I will. From the director of Mrs. Doubtfire and the Academy Award-winning producer of Forrest Gump. You didn't ask me if I wanted a new mother. You didn't even ask me if I liked her. Comes a story. I never wanted to be a mom. And believe it or not, I am trying. About the tears that are inevitable. People make mistakes. Anna, you do not run out on your mother. No, that's your job. And the joy that is possible. And their whole life's happiness is wrapped up in you. You know every story, every wound. You'll learn. When two women share one family. Oh, baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low. Ah! Sometimes the person you can't live with becomes the person you can't live without. <laughs> Stepmom. To the most beautiful and the most intelligent woman. I've known in my entire life. Welcome, Dr. Alice Howland. Thank you. I hope to convince you that by observing these baby steps into the... into... Uh... Alice, where the hell were you? Went for a run. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because you completely blew our dinner plans. What's going on? Oh boy. Uh, He's gonna break up or? <laughs> no. I have Alzheimer's disease. Early onset. Oh my God. I can see the words hanging in front of me and I can't reach them and I don't know who I am and, and I don't know what I'm gonna lose next. Stethoscope. Millennium. Hedgehog. I'd like to see you go to college. You can't use your situation to just get me to do everything that Why you want. Why can't I? Because that's not fair. You don't have to be fair. I'm your mother. I hate that this is happening to me. But we have to keep the important things in our life going. Merry Christmas. We have to try, or we're going to go crazy. This might be the last year that I'm myself. Please don't say that. I am not suffering. I am struggling. Struggling to be a part of things. To stay connected to who I once was. So live in the moment, I tell myself. It's really all I can do. Live in the moment. Get up. Morning, Brian. Stephen, are you aware that you've voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. One never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come, or from whom. 
What if I reverse time to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Keep going. I don't know how. Yet. Keep winding. Where to? It's called motor neuron disease. Life expectancy is two years. I want us to be together for as long as we've got. It'll affect everything. You don't realize what lies ahead. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. But I love him. And he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. Good luck. Why? I'm OK. So, this black hole at the beginning of time. Brilliant. Brilliant, Stephen. Well done, Doctor. He has pneumonia. The only way he will survive would be to give him a tracheotomy. He will never speak again. Yes, he will. My name is Stephen Hawking. It's American. Is that a problem? It has been a great joy to watch this man defy every expectation, both scientific and personal. There should be no boundaries to human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said, thank you.